right here. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, punch in the holes now for the chainmail aventail. All right. So what we're going to do is we obviously have to adjust the where you want it on the front. So usually be quite narrow because you just want to be able to see out of it. So I'm going to now measure out where I want it to start around here so I can give an even number of holes apart. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the holes about a centimeter apart. I think a centimeter should be about right. Hmm. Might want to go a little bit smaller actually. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so there's the one side done. So what I've done is I've worked on about a seven millimeter uh, gap between the two. Ideally 7.5, but obviously they can't get it that accurate, but that will do. And I've left about a gap like this for the face. So it should come down quite close to the side of the face. You can bring it in as much as you want, you know, depending on how you feel, how much the aventail needs to um, cover their face. Um, Traditionally, it would be quite small. The more of your face you can protect, the better. But obviously, this is more for a showpiece, so I'm going to stop it about there. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the other side. And you can see how well we can do there. Alright, so that was done for that side. I just want to mark it up and see how far. So I've got them even on both sides. This one goes up to 27. So this one I want to add a few more because I need to get it up to 27. I want it equal on that side. Right, so that gives me about an equal side on either, equal on either side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to center punch each one of these. Uh, for the height, I'm also going to keep it. Because these are going to be small holes and you don't want them too high, I'm going to keep it about four mil from the edge oh can't see that but four mil from the edge so that's the height i'm going to go for okay okay so i've got them all center punched out all the way around now to punch it out now i'm using a uh, what's this now? maybe you guys overseas can do it a one eight inch that's a 3.18 mil punch one eighth inch I think it is all right then uh, that freaky dicky Dutch uh, measurements are but let's go start punching them out
Okay, so there you can see I'm punching them out. I'm going to get a bit closer. There we go. Alright, so they are close to the edge, but that shouldn't be a problem. Punching out nicely gives a nice clean back. See, so there we go. Nice clean. So yeah, I'm going to carry on, but I'm not going to bore you me punching all of these out. Uh, but then we'll catch up after I've punched them all out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have decided I'm going to brass these um, <coughs> brass these frames. What I'm going to do first. Now this is obviously now for the finish. So what I've done is I've polished the frames up until a what would I say a 320 grit. I think I've got a 320 grit on these these uh, frames. Right, and then I'm going to make this one look like that one. Okay, so I'm going to give it a bit of contrast. So how I do this, what you'll need is a heat source, a plumber's torch, and then a brass brush. Now this, these are pure brass fibers, uh, uh, bristles. Okay, so it can't be brass coated, it needs to be proper brass. I got this on a Bry barbecue uh, grill cleaner, cleaner. So I'm going to use this. So let's see how I do it. Okay, so you want to heat this up. Let's do it in small sections. Don't want to get it too hot. The hotter it gets, the better it'll stick. See, now I'm rubbing some of the brass on onto it so what's happening is the heat is now allowing the brass to adhere to the steel so obviously you're rubbing off brass here and then you're depositing it onto the steel okay Getting a nice brass color to it. This would work better if you get uh, you get brass uh, wheels that you can put on your drill or so. That'll work. Probably yeah, that will work better than this. However, this is all I have at the moment. It seems like you can do multiple passes. And it seems to work better if you do it in one direction. Okay, and you can see the difference there. And you'll actually notice this, you feel it, actually, it, it's kind of, uh, if you're doing it just, yeah, it just sort of slides around. But if you're doing it just where the heat is, you can kind of feel that it's, 
sticking a little bit. I wouldn't say, you know, st it's difficult to describe. You just feel it's, it's coarser. It feels coarser when you do it. Okay, so there you can see already the difference. I think this with the contrast of the steel on the panels will look very good. So I'll carry on doing this. I'll finish this one up. Then I'm also going to do the brim. I'm going to do this once. Yeah, so I forgot to show you. I've punched now all of the holes out. You can see all of the holes are punched out. I'm going to do it on this as well. Also, before you start, just make sure you clean it off. Make sure there's no residue left on the steel. Otherwise, it's not going to bind to it. Alright, so I'm going to finish that off and I'll show you the end result. Okay.